how to make audio visualizer inside DaVinci Resolve. To get started I'm having this audio file onto my timeline imported already and I'm going to effects library right here in the top left. Click on the effects and that will open the effects menu and I will look for fusion composition. You wanna drag it and leave it onto your timeline. Then I'm grabbing the end side of it and I'm stretching it until it matches the full length of my audio. Then I right click on it and I open in fusion tab. Next up I'm adding a background from this icon right here and then I'm getting a merge node which is located right here. I'm leaving it in between and I'm connecting the background to the merge and merge to the media out. Next up I'm adding one more background. I'm leaving it right here and I'm connecting it to the merge node. Next we need to change the color of the second background. So I go in the inspector and I can change it to something brighter like yellow or white. In my example I'm gonna stick to white. Then I need to make a new shape of that background so I'm adding a rectangle which is right here. It will be automatically connected to your background number 2 and while this rectangle is highlighted you wanna grab this end side of that background and squeeze it down until you have something looking like this. You can also do that from the inspector by decreasing the values of width. Also you can increase the values of corner radius that way we are rounding up the end of it. Next you can either manually move it from the viewer screen to the left side or decrease the center X in the inspector. It should be looking around here, a value of approximately 0.25. And next up we need to make more of those, so we need to make a duplicate. So we can highlight this background number 2 and press ctrl spacebar and type in there duplicate. Then you wanna click on add and a duplicate node will be added. While this duplicate node is highlighted, you can go to the inspector and next to copies, you want to put a values of approximately between 15 and 25, works the best. In my example, I'm going to use 15 copies, so I type 15 on the copies field. To actually see these copies, you want to increase the amount of center X and this will be the distance between your background copies. In my case, a 0.54 will work. Moving on with the next one. We need to animate these and make sure that they are synchronized with our audio. So to make that happen, you need to highlight the rectangle node, go into the inspector and next to the height right here, you want to press right click and then go to modify width and then select MID extractor. Once you've selected it, the viewer screen will disappear and a modifier button right here on the top right will appear. You want to click it and new settings will appear. You want to look for the top one which is MID file which is allowing you to browse for MID files. As you can see my file in DaVinci Resolve is mp3 so it will not work if I import the same one. So you want to go to Google or something and convert your mp3 file to MID file. Basically any platform that is allowing you to convert mp3 to MID will work. So you just have to convert your mp3 file to MID and after getting that file done and having MID audio file which is the same as the one that you're having in DaVinci Resolve you want to go back in the Fusion tab in DaVinci Resolve where it says the modifier and select browse. After browsing it you want to select here all files and then you can look for that MID file that you have just converted. In my case it's this one so I highlight it and then I click open. Now it is imported in my Fusion page, in the modifier. When I click play, you will not hear any sound because you are in the Fusion page and you will see only the visuals. You can also notice that all of them are moving the same without any difference. So now our next step is to make every one of them lines are moving separately from the others, having different movement. To make that happen, you need to highlight the rectangle node, go into the inspector, Select the drop down menu next to combine events and select sum. Then go up in result scale and then you can take down the values of it of your liking. And the values in here is depending on how loud is your sound. I'm testing out mine on 0.3 values. And as I play through I can see that my lines are going way over. So I need to decrease the values of result scale. So I'm gonna leave it on 0.10 and as you can see it's just enough. So I'm leaving it as it is and now I'm going to make every one of them moving in a different time. So I'm highlighting the duplicate node and then going to time offset which is the second one and I'm increasing the values to about 0.3. This is going to create microsecond delay between our duplicates and create a visual effect. 
of waveform. I'm selecting the play button in the fusion tab so I can see the visuals and I can see that they're moving smoothly but in my case it's lagging a bit but that's just temporary because it needs some time to render the visuals. When everything is ready I can go to the edit page and play through and see that now everything is synchronized and it's having a waveform. <laughs> And a quick disclaimer that everything that is happening in the fusion composition is absolutely 100% matching the audio that you're having right here and that is because you imported the audio through the browse search in the modifier. But if you remove the audio in behind it will actually not sound like it because the audio is gonna be gone. So if you wanna move it somewhere you have to keep it together just so the visuals are going to match your audio. I hope this video was helpful, you can also watch this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.